What is up, beautiful people? And welcome back to another Unapologetically Mercy video. <laughs> How are you doing today? I hope you're doing blessed, staying highly favored, continuing to go towards your goals, your dreams, continuing to shed old versions, old things that are no longer serving you, and going towards your dreams and your goals. Today in this video, I wanted to talk all things about self, self-love. I just want to talk about several tips or tricks that you can use to help boost your self-confidence. These are also some things that I use personally to boost my self-confidence over the last few years. So I just wanted to share them with you. If you're interested into that kind of stuff, let's go ahead and get right into it. to your self-love journey whether you have been in this thing for a few months few years it's always important to develop new habits and release things that are no longer serving you in order for you to live the most authentic and the truest version of yourself so that you can go towards your life goals whatever area of your life with confidence and passion one of the first ways that you can work to boost your own self-confidence is to put yourself first now, I know for those who might hear that, who love the, who are natural, put people before themselves, natural givers, natural empaths. I myself as well as one of those, but for me, when I started my journey, when I really, when I was really starting my self-love journey and really getting to know more about myself, I was learning that I, might, I wasn't 100% healed or I wasn't 100% myself and even though I was still extending myself to other people it would leave me drained and unfulfilled and feeling like I could not get the same return but when I decided to love me first put time into myself take the time away from others and reflect on my, on things that are no longer serving me habits that aren't aren't that I'm becoming a, that I'm becoming aware of that is not helping me get towards my goals or whatever the case might be, I had to put myself first. Being selfish, especially when it comes to your self-love and your mental health is very important because you are the only one, you, you over there, you are the only one in charge of you. I'm the only one in charge of Mercedes' self-love and her value and her worth because all that comes from within. And if I don't first take the time to make sure I to make sure I'm good, I cannot fully I cannot fully show up to I cannot fully show up to help those that I truly love and that you know need the support that that need the, need the support and the love that I could bring to you know that situation. So put yourself first because you are worthy of, and deserving. If no one has told you that today, I'm letting you know that today like you're worthy and you're deserving of loving yourself who you are today and where you're going. The next thing that you could do to boost your self-confidence is to learn new things. Step out of your comfort zone and take a risk and try something new, whether it is food, whether it is a different genre of music or videos that you watch, try something new. It will open up your perspective and your perspective will shift. You'll become more open-minded. I didn't know I liked lime on my tacos until I had tried lime on my tacos and it changed my life true story i didn't know i didn't like caviar until i tried caviar to know i did not like caviar but i learned something new about myself i'm willing to try new things step out of my comfort zone try something that up some, try something of a different texture of different taste palette just to really see what's for me and what's not for me because not everything that i try is for me same thing with you. You could try a new business venture, a new job, a new hobby, and it might, you know, you might have great intentions because you're wanting to step out on faith, try something new, take a risk on yourself, but you might forget, but you might realize that it's not for you, and that's okay because you've learned something new about yourself. You wouldn't learn something new about yourself if you continue to stay in your same patterns, your comfort zone. Another way to boost your self-confidence is to spend time doing things that you enjoy doing. For myself personally, I love music. I love different kinds of music, but R&B really is like my lane. I will listen to the different genres of R&B all day. Like, it's just, cause you get to feel all different emotions and and music is missing it nowadays. But anyway, anyways, I digress. 
Spending time doing the things that you enjoy will actually reduce your stress, your worries, and your anxieties because you are actually doing something that you want to do and you enjoy doing. Let's say that you might not like your job, but you're finding just but in your current financial situation, you can't leave until you find something better or your side business becomes your full-time business. So in the meantime, what are some of the different hobbies that you might like to do? Like for myself, I like to garden. I like to watch the 85 South show. It's always a good laugh. I like to learn more about astrology. These are different things that I like and that these are different things that I like to do that I like to learn about on the daily, weekly, monthly basis. So I make sure to incorporate that into my life so I, so I feel more authentically true to who I am. And I'm on and I'm honoring the things that make me who I am that bring joy to my life. Because if I decided to not incorporate those things that I like to do in my life, then I might be I might be more depressive. I might be more anxiety prone. I might be more lazy and unproductive towards my goals or just continuing to repeat the same cycles because I'm thinking that there's nothing better than what I'm already going through. The next thing that you can do to boost your self-confidence is to love yourself for who you are today. Love yourself for where you are in your journey. Maybe you just started your journey and you are, maybe you've just started your journey and the way that you talk to yourself is just horrible. It's just, it's just negative. It's just negative affirmation after negative affirmation. But you're, you're, you're in that phase that you are aware that these negative self-talk, these, these negative self-talks are contributing to your mood and your behavior throughout the day. So you're starting to work on how can I change the phrases or how can I change the things that I say about myself into a more uplifting, motivational way instead of something that is just beating me down. Even if that's even if that's your story and that's where you are today, accept yourself for where you are. Love yourself for where you are today. Whether today is a happy day or a sad day for you, embrace embrace that feeling embrace who you are today because one the storms and the challenges and hardships in our lives are going to be only temporary and those hardships those pains those sufferings actually can boost your self-confidence actually transform you and propel you to your pur your purpose and your passion and you wouldn't have been able to transform on a soul or a self-love level, mental health level, if you did not take the time to feel those feelings, accept who you are today. Like for myself, I still feel like I have, like for myself personally, I feel like I still have so much more growth to do, but for where I am today, I am proud of myself. There are so many habits or um, perspectives that I have released and releasing that and releasing those things was not an easy or fun process, but I'm glad that I went through it. But I know and I'm still aware that there are still things that I need to continue to work on and continue to get better at and continue to be gentle with myself during my journey so that I know I'm taking it day, day by day and continuously, you know, taking small action steps will help me achieve my goal. And things that might have triggered me a month ago won't trigger me in the next two months. So you know what I'm saying? You just gotta continue to process. Yeah. Another thing that you can do to boost your self-confidence is to practice gratitude daily. Being in the energy of gratitude can definitely help you stay in a more positive growth mindset a mentality compared to the fixed mindset. And in order for us to receive blessings, or manifestations we have to be grateful for the things that we have today because baby spirit can take them things in a hot quick second if you're not really appreciative or grateful or thankful for what those people places or things are here to teach you everything every person every experience that we go through is here to teach us something and it's up to us to decide if we're going to play the victim or actually look at the situation and be like what is this situation trying to teach me what can i learn from this what can I, what have I learned about myself? What are some things that I'm no longer doing because I have been put into this situation or I have met this individual or I'm working at this place? You know, you got to look at things in a different perspective and you got to be grateful for the different things. So let's say you start by just being grateful, saying five different things in the morning or the day that you're grateful for in your journal. I'm grateful for having a new, I'm grateful for being able to see a new day. I'm grateful for my job. I'm grateful for my significant other whatever whatever things that might pop to your head that are 
that are truly valuable to you and that you are truly grateful for appreciate those things and continuously express your gratitude towards those things whether it's you writing things down in your journal whether you are just doing this in your manifestation and meditation practice or actually to those friends and individuals that you are grateful for continue to let them know and that definitely will help you boost your self-confidence because you don't have to hold it in no more you can just like express it and get it out getting things out instead of just letting them sit and bottle up inside of you can definitely be beneficial for your self-love journey as well as your mental health and the last thing that i would like to mention and last thing that i would like to mention and say that can boost that can help boost your self-confidence is to prioritize your goals i didn't really start pro i didn't really start prioritizing my goals the way that i have been until i went to therapy two years ago and since i went to therapy and started writing my goals down putting action plans in front of my face, putting vision boards and goal boards, monthly goal boards, weekly goal boards, daily goal boards in front of me. I wouldn't have been able to go towards my goals as hard as I had been going towards them if I didn't put those things in front of me, if I did not take that leap of faith on myself and went to therapy. Like that is one of the biggest things that therapy taught me was write your goals down, have a plan for it and go towards that plan, put that action to put that action on it but like yeah it's my video on the importance of writing things down or journaling i'll definitely leave a link up here for you to go ahead and check that out as well in the description box below so you can just get a better understanding to why i love writing writing things down how that really helps me like how that helps like clear the mind how it helps me how it helps you see what you need to accomplish throughout the day the week if your goals are realistic to achieve your goals or not you know it just really helps you like have a game plan create a creative create a game plan re advise re um or even if you have to you know like reevaluate your plan or whatever the case might be you won't know unless you write it down because it's easy for you to forget if you're just going off of what's up here and when you write things down it's easier for you to remember or you can go back and reflect and be like oh that's a great nugget i might not need that nugget today but maybe in six months that nugget will start to become an idea it could become a product a podcast a business an investment plan, plan and an investment plan you know whatever the case might be but just prioritize your goals prioritize you prioritize the different things that you love to do because like i mentioned before you are the only one that's really in control of making sure that you are good others can you know others can give you tips tricks hacks and you know be there for you but if they if you are not taking the accountability and becoming aware of who you are and where you are you will not be able to grow in your self-love journey and i feel like your self-love journey is one of the most important journeys that we embody and go through way more important than you know, your job your finances and all these other things not saying these things are not important but if your mental is not on point if your self-love is not on point people can neglect you abuse you you know take advantage of you and if you're more aware and you have your boundaries set in place you know that's less of those type of things that you have to worry about so yeah, you guys that's really all that i have for you today on different ways to help boost your self-confidence please let me know in the comments down below if you've used any of the if you've done any of these things i mentioned in this video before and what your experience has been like with incorporate incorporating those things into your life or also let me know in the comments down below out of all the things that I talked about today, what is something that you want to implement into your life and boosting your self-confidence and improving your self-love journey today? So start that conversation in the comments down below, okay? Okay, and until next time, you guys stay blessed with peace, one love, and high vibrations.